Should we go All right, again? We're recording, so we can begin. I am Mark Morris, the producer on Prison Architect, and I'm having a conversation with Chris Delay, who is the director of Prison Architect. Hello. Uh, this is Alpha 2, the first update to the Prison Architect Alpha. So, uh, Chris, what's in this one? Yes, well, um, actually, the first thing is quite a small feature, but a very largely requested feature. As you know, in the sandbox at the moment, you just receive you receive eight prisoners after 24 hours and you get a continuous stream of prisoners, right? And if you're really unlucky, every day you get more and more. And if you're really unlucky, you can get like 60 in one go. So I've done a couple of things. I fixed that bug, right, because that was a bug. Um, we did say you would get bugs. Um, so you won't get 60 anymore in any one day. And I've also added an option. It's too intense! Yeah, I've added an option. When, you, when you're clicking Create New Prison now, you get this option, Continuous Intake. So if you pick no, it's the same as before. You get a continuous stream of prisoners every day, but never any more than like 16. Um, and if you turn that feature off, you only get prisoners when you've got space for them in your prison. All right? nice. So if you've got like eight jail cells that are empty, you'll get eight more prisoners the next day. Um, and if you're full, you won't get any more prisoners. Um, so it just takes the, takes the, uh, the pressure cooker aspect. Yeah, I think a lot of people like playing it in pure sandbox, which yeah, means that they yeah. don't like to feel that intense pressure. So, yeah. Um, so that takes us on to the main new feature. Now what happened here is um, we did a poll on our forums and we asked the community what feature they would most like to see. Um, we offered them escape tunnels, um, which was quite a popular idea, and, but then they're not really finished yet and um, they don't really work properly yet. There isn't really any way to defend against that yet. Uh, we also offered them fire engines which is kind of essential at the moment because it is possible for your prison to catch fire and it is not possible to do anything about it. Um, but funnily enough, that wasn't the most requested feature. Um, the most requested feature actually was guard deployment. Um, and what right. this means is, um, at the moment, your guards are just like, they just hang around and you can move them like this manually. But they don't... Yeah. Um, you can't tell them to be anywhere at any time. You can't say, I want three guards in the canteen at all times which is a really useful feature to have, you'd have to admit. So yeah. now, you can. You unlock it through the bureaucracy screen in here. Right? You have your security chief, and then once you've got him, he can unlock deployment. Um, and once he's done that, you get access to a new toolbar button called deployment, which looks like this. And this is the deployment view, deployment schematic. It's like a security schematic for your jail. Right? Nice, mate. Nice. I've seen it a few times, but I always like what this one looks like. Yeah. And what this basically is, is this is your security deployment of all of your guards. So, here's the uh, here's a medical ward, and here's a morgue, and here's a solitary area, and you can see that each of them is a different sector, and you can highlight it by mousing over it. Right? And you can go further, you can click, and when you click, a guard is assigned to that sector. There he is, and he'll come running over. So the rendering is a little bit debug at the moment. It's a bit subversion, actually, if we're being honest about it. Oh, mate, don't mention that <laughs> It is a bit subversion. And if you click more than once, you get several guards assigned to that sector. And if you right-click, you can unassign them. Yeah, nice and simple. Yeah. Um, and so that is how you can ensure, ensure that there's always guards in the area. So what defines a sector then? Well, it has to because like like there's a, if you go to the top of the map, there's there's a cell block and then there's like yeah, that little well blue. Yeah, has to be a sector has to be surrounded by what doors and walls. Um, so like the so each one of these rooms counts as a separate sector uh, over right. here. Right. And the exceptions are uh, individual jail cells, um, which are right. which are folded into their parent sector. Um, so a whole cell block becomes one sector effectively. So you can click like three or four times and what I've done there is I've just quickly assigned four guards to this uh, to this whole sector um, and they'll come running and they'll just hang out in there and it causes your if the prisoners are thinking about having a fight but there's loads of guards in the area then they'll think twice about it right? and right. Um, it'll stop them from from kicking off um, right. now at the moment there's another thing that you can also do which is you can do patrols um, this is a feature which is uh, only just unlocked and you can draw patrol routes within your sector. And you'll see that all the guards, all four of those guards that are assigned in there, go and immediately start following the patrol, right? one square at a time. They just walk along it, effectively. I'm going to get them to whistle and stuff. <laughs> and that's how you ensure yeah. that they remain spread out within your sector. They don't whistle, mate. They, they have to they, um, run their battens along the uh, jail bars. 
Isn't that what they yeah, do? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like in Terminator 2, where they run their, they run their wooden nightstick along the wall, making a racket. Yeah, that's that can right. be at your prison. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so you I can, can even, you can even make on. loops like that, and they'll, they'll walk around the loop. Um, and then come out again. So they're reasonably intelligent about walking along the set, along the patrols that you draw. Right. So using those two things combined, you can now very quickly click all over your jail and assign your guards to wherever you think they need to be. Um, and that assigns your guards into position and tells them where they should be operating. And that's the new feature. Cool, cool. So this is uh, available now to everybody that is in the Alpha, and uh, anyone that joins the Alpha will be able to play this and get involved in the decisions about the next uh, the next systems that we put into the game. Brilliant.